Nancy Kale was born in Covington, Kentucky, and found her way to Louisville, Tennessee in 1977, following experiences in Michigan and Florida. A former high school coach and eventual colleague and friend took her to the Maribel College campus for a visit to meet softball coach Pat Ballard. The small campus, the opportunity to continue to play sports, and knowing she would receive a strong education made Maribel College the easy choice after high school. In the spring of 1984, Nancy stepped on the softball field for head coach Pat Ballard. Maryville played their home games at Everett Park in the early years. During Nancy's first pair of collegiate seasons, the Lady Scots played their first half of their season fast pitch before concluding each campaign with a slow pitch segment. Maryville College played slow pitch because that was the conference protocol allowing the Scots to play in a postseason conference tournament within the WIAC which was the Women's Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. Nancy was a standout pitcher and shortstop, tossing the first no-hitter on record for the Lady Scots as a fast-pitch program. According to Brian Rigel in an article in the Highland Echo, Kale no-hit Tennessee Tech by the score of 5-1 in the squad's first win of the 1984 fast-pitch season. Nancy excelled during the slow-pitch season, earning WEAC All-Tournament honors as a freshman. She paced the squad with a stellar 565 slow pitch batting average. With Wall of Famers Denise Penskoffer and Candace Schramm each earning team top offensive award honors, rookie Kale was recognized as the squad's most valuable player. Head women's basketball coach Sharon Arrington noticed Kale's athleticism and asked her to join the squad in the winter of 1984-85. Prior to this, Nancy had never played on an organized basketball team. Maribel College posted an 8-14 mark with Nancy scoring her first collegiate points against Fisk University on December 8, 1984. Surrounded by Wall of Famers Sarah Covington and Denise Penskoffer, Nancy learned the game from some of the best in Scott's basketball history. As a sophomore on the softball field, Nancy hit 318 during the fast pitch segment, going 21 for 66 with a team leading 22 runs scored in 21 games played. In slow pitch, Kale tallied an additional 18 runs scored in 17 games with a 491 batting average. Kale once again excelled in the WEAC slow pitch softball tournament, earning all tournament honors. Women's basketball in 1985-86 struggled to a 2-24 mark. This unselfish point guard used her athleticism as a playmaker to feed scorers Pam Gunter, Penskoffer, and Penny Head. Kale tossed in 9 points against Bryan College and 8 points against Belmont. At the end of the season, she garnered the squad's most improved player award. Nancy's junior softball season saw the Scots earn their first 20-plus win season after going 21-7-1 in an exclusively fast-pitch campaign. Under coach Arrington, Kale hit 333. While Donna Clancy and Andrea Dye were strong in the pitcher's circle, Nancy anchored a strong defense at the shortstop position. Kale opened the season with a trio of hits against Tennessee Tech and recorded five hits in a doubleheader against Tennessee Wesleyan. Her 27 runs scored was second on the team, while her glove proved steady throughout 104 chances at shortstop. Kale's final basketball season saw the Scots post a 1-24 record under Arlington's last season as coach. This talented team captain tallied her career high of 10 points against Sewanee on February 10, 1987. Nancy's senior spring saw the softball Scots go 21-13 on the season with their second consecutive 20-plus win fast-pitch season. In 34 games played at shortstop, Nancy hit 318 with 35 hits, including four triples and a home run. Her 35 hits paced the squad. The trio on the mound of Missy Barker, Wall of Famer Donna Clancy and Andrea Dye combined for a 2.38 team ERA, with Kale anchoring a strong defense. Defensively, Nancy fielded at an amazing 9-12 clip and 195 chances on the season. Nancy posted three hit performances against LMU and Carson Newman and finished her softball career against Austin P. State University. Nancy earned team most valuable player honors for the second time in her softball career. At the conclusion of her distinguished career, Nancy Kale was named the 1986-87 J.D. Davis Award winner by the college. 
Nancy majored in art education with teacher licensure for K-12. From 1990 to 2000, she served as an art teacher, volleyball coach, and softball coach at Maryville High School. For the past 18 years, she has served as the art teacher at Sam Houston Elementary School in Maryville. Nancy will always remember her experience with her teammates while gaining valuable confidence and direction that the Maryville College experience provided a pathway towards. She is joined today by her parents, Bob and Ann McHale. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Nancy Kale to the Maryville College Wall of Fame. 